What is going on everybody? It's Jamie and welcome to the channel Thrift on Fire. Now I'm going to be the first one to tell you that I have not been doing a good job of showing you all the things that have been picking up recently. Every once in a while on Instagram I'll throw something up that I picked up that I thought was cool but I haven't really really been doing full thrift haul videos and this one's not going to be that either. It's more going to be just sort of like a haul video. Just things that I've picked up recently. I'm going to show you what they are. I'm going to show you comps for some things. I'm going to show you listed prices for other things because sometimes when you find stuff that's not that's similar to something else you can kind of base the, your price off of something but you can't find a true comp for the item but you know you can look the items up for yourself if you want for the most part i'm going to show you listed and a few comps for other things other things i might just tell you what i think it's going to be worth it really depends on the item but you'll see here in this video uh there's a whole bunch of different things from a whole bunch of different days so let's get over started. the weekend i was in sarnia ontario we we're up there for a wedding and i basically had some time to kill my wife was helping the wedding party out with hair and makeup and some other stuff and i was just sort of trying to waste some time so i did some things and then i found a couple thrift stores i found goodwill and i think a mission thrift i only really found anything that I wanted to buy at the Goodwill. Uh, and I bought two Iron Maiden t-shirts. I'm gonna show you clips now uh, of them because they're actually already in the antique booth. I'm asking $30 a piece. I think the one is Y2K and I couldn't put an exact uh, year on the other one, but they're both old enough, but not really like $100 t-shirt old, but 30 bucks, I think they're both really cool. Uh, I also found a Modern Tour Iron Maiden t-shirt. Uh, I'm asking $20 at the booth for that one. Then uh, the Goodwill Bins, uh, this was a different day, but at the Goodwill Bins, I'm showing showing you a clip of that now. Probably uh, I found a Goosebumps t-shirt that also went to the antique booth. I think I put $15 on it. I would have probably paid a dollar or less for that. And then also from Sarnia, Ontario, we picked up a Pink Floyd t-shirt. It is a liquid blue, but it's a modern liquid blue. Paid $4, like I said, $0.79. Cents. I'm going to be asking about $20 in the booth. I have a couple more modern liquid blue shirts. If that one goes well, I have some um, Grateful Dead ones that I could try there as well. Uh, this one is still here. These are a pair of overalls I picked up at the same Goodwill for, I think, about $7, roughly. Um, if you can see the embroidery on these. Uh, the actual brand is, I think, uh, Christopher Banks. It's definitely got that boho kind of feel to it, right? Uh, and check out the fringing on the bottom of these things. I have them listed on eBay for about almost like 50 bucks, like $47, something like that. I think they were pretty cool. I was happy to pick those up for sure. Now, we had a pretty crazy weekend. Like I said, we went up to Sarnia for that wedding, and then we came home for the night. Uh, and then the next morning, we went to Great Wolf Lodge in Niagara Falls, spent the night there, did two days at the water park with my niece and three nephews. Um, it was a lot of fun. We had a good time. And then after that, me and Amanda went to the Jays game. They were playing the Yankees in Toronto, so we did that. So it was three days of just nonstop stuff but when we were in, so before we left sarnia we went to this other little store and this guy did clean outs uh and he had a whole bunch of these i said hey i'll take i asked him how much he wanted first of all and he said five dollars a paper so i said i'll take four of them i guess so 20 bucks he wound up giving me six so i got a little better deal i got a couple for free uh it's cool wayne gretzky this is the london free press 1982 um there's a couple listed on ebay i think for like some pretty, pretty big prints and stuff in here too it's pretty cool actually um there's a couple listed on eBay for hundred bucks or something like that. I don't see any solds. I have one on auction right now. I started the auction at $5 because that's what I paid for just one of them to see kind of what would happen. I don't think they're worth as much as other people potentially do. I think they're really cool wall hangers. Um, and I got enough of them that I can kind of figure out what they're worth and take a couple chances with them. So I have one in the booth for 10 bucks because I think that's totally fair. Uh, we'll see, maybe one will go crazy on auction, but I don't think it will. But I got six of these. I thought they were really cool. I thought I wanted to share those. So then when we went up to um, Niagara Falls, I did wind up going to a store called The Mad Thrifter. We bought some stuff for personal, and I bought some other stuff for the booth that I'm not gonna really share. But I did wanna share this T-shirt with you because I think it is pretty cool. Uh, I do have it listed for, I think, 40 seven dollars it's miami dolphins uh, i think it's like a it's really y2k i don't think it's 90s or anything it's not single stitch but it's cool it's on a rebox tag right the back is tie-dyed as well can't find this exact one online for whatever reason but i do think it's cool enough that i thought i'd list mine for about 50 bucks and see how it goes um i'm not exactly sure what i paid for it because i bought some shelves from from that person a couple vhs's from that person at the mad thrifter store 
Um, and what else? I bought like a Disney little ceramic thing for the booth. So I bought a whole bunch of stuff, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure what I paid for this, but it wasn't much. I'm sure I'll, you know, I'll make my money back just on this t-shirt and everything else we picked up would basically be free. I'll insert the clip now, but I also picked up a bunch of mini hockey sticks from the liquidation store in Niagara Falls that I get all the jerseys and stuff from. They had a whole bunch of mini sticks for like $1.97 plus HST. I think I picked up 10 of those. Uh, I think I got them for $5. I have them in the booth for about five dollars a stick so i think that's probably going to wind up being okay i just thought they were fun and very inexpensive so i was willing to take a chance on them obviously not going to make a lot of money doing that but i thought they were just fun items to pick up and you know worst case scenario i take them out of there give them to my nephews or someone to play with it's not that big of a deal i just thought they were cool so i wanted to pick them up you know a lot of times i would honestly say just because you like something don't pick them up but in a case like this because they're just going into the booth and they don't cost a lot of money and they're just fun i think it's totally fine to pick them up if i was going to try to sell those online they're probably not worth enough money to sell online but totally fine for something like that it's sort of just fun for me. Uh, I also, so before we went to the wedding even, so before we went to Sarnia, I went to uh, Tilsonburg Antiques Plus in Tilsonburg, Ontario, and picked up a whole bunch of jerseys. Now this person I got the jerseys from also goes to the Goodwill Bins. Uh, I, know, I know him fairly well, um, talk to him there once in a while anyway. And you know, his jerseys are really cheap, so I love going there. You guys see me go there every once in a while in videos and I'll sort of see if he has anything and clear him out. But this particular time I went and didn't film anything. So Toronto Maple Leafs, it says baseball jersey, but it's a hockey jersey and it's a and it's a vintage one. I paid 20 bucks. I'm gonna throw my listing up. I'm just gonna throw my listings up for most of these. Uh, Boston jersey, $15. I paid for it. It's actually a youth jersey, which kind of hurts the value a little bit but still, I think it'll be pretty good. Now this Raptors jersey, it's it's a Nike, and I kind of questioned uh, if it was authentic 100%, so I wound up putting it in the antique booth for $30 instead of trying to sell it online, just in case, because Nike is one of the ones that can be faked pretty well. Um, there's just the, the tags, the, uh, the back tags cut out of it, so I'm not really sure, and I just didn't want to take a chance, but it's definitely okay, I think, to sell in the booth. I think it's a, that one's a size medium, 30 bucks. Um, Deion Sanders, uh, football jersey. This is a Mitchell's and Ness throwback Detroit jersey. It's going to do pretty good. I only paid, uh, what did I pay for this one? 25 bucks, so a little bit more than I like to pay, but this one's going to be worth some good money, so not too bad. Uh, the, a Mets baseball jersey, 69 World Series. Uh, I think this was a stadium giveaway. Um, not worth a ton of money. I paid 15 bucks for it, but I thought it was cool, so I picked it up. So not, you know, not too bad anyway. This one, I tried on. It fits me. I want to keep it. I'm on the fence. I've actually already listed it on eBay just so that, you know, if it sells, I can be like, okay, it's sold for good money. I don't, I don't care. I paid $30 for it. It is a, uh, All right, Ricky, let's get nasty. From the windup, swing on the move. Cleveland Indians baseball team, wild thing. So it's Ricky Vaughn from Major League Baseball. I paid 30 bucks for it. You can see on screen what I have it listed for. I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna sell. We're in baseball season, you know, it's a retro jersey. Cleveland is now the Guardians, right? They were the Cleveland baseball team for a while. Prior to that, they were the Cleveland Indians, obviously. And there were some issues with their logo and people thought it was offensive and whatever. I don't really think, this jersey because it's like sort of like a movie movie prop i don't really think it's a problem selling it i don't see an issue with it at all it's something that's i think iconic and people really like and i would like to keep this one but you can't keep everything and you know if i have to pick and choose i would probably choose to let this one go and if it happens to stick around a little longer hey i like having it around so i don't mind that either but let me show you a few more things i picked up recently a couple of local goodwill pickups this guy's a bit heavy i paid ten dollars for this it's a toshiba crt television it's a 13 inch there's no remote it has rcas on the back and then coax at the fat or coax on the back rcas on the front it's a bit heavy which is why i'm struggling with it with one arm here so that i picked up for about 10 bucks it should be worth about a hundred i also have another tv a crt TV in that uh, spare bedroom that I have not even listed yet. I was going to take it to the booth, but I haven't yet. I found this one. 
because it's a better brand, I just listed it right away. I thought it might even be worth more money, but it looks like this particular one sells for about 100 bucks. Not too bad. Plus, you got to put shipping in there. This was pretty cool, too. Uh, it does have the power supply and everything. Um, I, you know, I looked at this at Goodwill. I think it was $4 and change, like almost 5 bucks. But I thought, hey, that looks like an interesting scale. It must be like for mechanics or something like that. It's a, uh, a, a and D EJ 300. I'll throw up a comp for this one right now. Oh, that's the, the top of it flying off. <laughs> De definitely didn't hurt anything. This thing pops off. Uh, but this is definitely for like, for like gold mining or for jewelry and stuff like that. It's very, a very precise scale, I guess. It's also very expensive. I, I you know, I don't have any uh, idea if it'll sell fast or not. I don't really think so, but it's, it's going to sell for good money. The last one I seen of this, like this exact model or close to this model anyway, yeah, there could be slight variations. I don't really know much about it. Sold for about 300 plus dollars. Um, I'll throw my listing up too, and then I'll throw maybe a couple of sold listings that are similar to this one, just, just so you can kind of see. You know, I didn't really know what it was. Obviously, Goodwill didn't know what it was. I just thought it was neat enough to look up. I knew it wasn't just a kitchen scale, so I looked it up. This thing's super valuable. Now, these last items I just picked up today at Goodwill. I didn't even comp any of this stuff, to be honest, but this is a Roots Fleece uh, 1998 Coca-Cola Olympics fleece jacket okay i paid 11 dollars for this thing i'll try to find a comp and throw it up for it 11 70 something it's pretty nice it's got the big uh i don't know if i showed the back or not that well it's got the big maple leaf on the back um i'm expecting this to be really good but like i said i haven't looked it up i picked up a couple more t-shirts here for the booth shania twain it looks like it's super old based off the tag i don't know if i can show you that or not very well but uh but it's a shania twain obviously it's only 1998 uh, it's pr fairly new, but I think somebody might want that. I'll probably put like 15 bucks for that. Same thing, I paid, what, like four seventy nine. dollars So I'm not making a ton of money, but just a cool item I thought to throw in the booth. This is also a modern t-shirt. Might put 20 bucks in this one, I don't know. My, my, my wife might also steal this one when she sees it because we went to this tour. It was the uh, 2002 Bite Me Tour. We went to the London show, and then we actually seen Avril Lavigne again, I think, when we went to see maybe Machine Gun Kelly or somebody like that, that's definitely, uh, we both like stuff like that, but it's definitely a little bit more her style of music. Um, but yeah, I thought that was cool. Same thing, I think that would probably sell for 20 bucks. It's Rancid uh, and Out Come the Wolves. Now here we go, the tag is cut. So that's not really a great, great, great sign. They're calling it an extra large. I did try it on, it does fit like an extra large, but it is boxy. If I flip this one over, you'll see it's a 1996 Tour T. Looks pretty good to me. It definitely feels old. I don't think this one's a reprint or anything. If this shirt fit me, I would likely just keep it. It fits me fine, except for it's too short, so I'm definitely never gonna wear it. Um, I think it could be worth good money. I'll have to find, if I find an exact comp, I will throw it up. You know, I don't think this is a $40 T-shirt. I think this is like, you know, maybe a 60, 70, 80, maybe $100 T-shirt. I don't 100% know that for sure. Like I said, hopefully I can find a comp and throw it up for you. I just picked these up today, so I haven't really got a chance to research them that deeply, but you know, I'm really happy to find a shirt like this anytime out in the wild when you're thrifting. I think it's really cool and you can still find old t-shirts like this from the 90s just in a regular Goodwill. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. If you do like videos like this, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing for more content and we will see you soon.